Hi guys, this is Chidero, and we have a beautiful design that is called the Speckic, which is Dutch, or its originality is uh, the Indonesian name for a cake, which is Lapis Legit. Or here in America, that would translate to Thousand Layer Cake. So bravo on the name, and this was designed by M.S. Loon. So it is a Hulk only bracelet, and it requires um, uh, 15 sets of beads. So you would need 15 bands with two beads on each band, which would equal 30 beads. So it is uh, somewhat of a cuff, and I've used large beads. Emma Slim had uh, suggested a eight millimeter bead is what she used. I usually use six millimeter, but I wanted to make it true to the design. So these are eight millimeter pearl beads. So it consists of two parts. The first part is incorporating the beaded bands into the center stitch, which is a fishtail stitch done on a hook. After we complete that, then we simply go into the border, which is basically a regular stitch with a pickup stitch in incorporated. And that, if you remember, was designed by uh, or was, was created by Suzanne. Well, crazy just might work on Instagram. So kudos to her. All right, so I'm going to use today are these beads here. Um, I'm not crazy about them, but I wanted to use a fauceted or rondelle bead. So these are more oblong, oval, so they're flat on the ends and then, you know, bulge out in the center. And I put one bead cap on each side of the bead. So that's four pieces on one band. And I'm using clear bands because you don't see the bands in the design. So I think I have about 14 sets. Um, I didn't have any more bead caps. Okay, left. so for the pattern MS Lim used in her in the center she chose to use uh, two of one color one of the next so in my case it's two white one gray two white one gray if you choose to put a pattern in there all right so I'm gonna warn you of two things one this is not going to be the greatest tutorial because I'm not using LE bands and these are sticky bands so they like to stick when you try to move them and these are humongous beads to me. I don't usually use beads this big and they're a little bit hard to maneuver. <clears throat> That's just for me, not to say it will be like that for you or anyone else. Okay, so essentially what the pattern is going to be is three plain bands to every beaded band. Okay, so we're going to start out with our cat band. And then we're going to add, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to add two bands. And this is only for this part. Pull that cap band up back on top. Then make sure they're in order and close it. It's the only time you're going to add two bands. Okay? Now, <clears throat> excuse me. Now we're going to add one more band, the same color. Through all four. Then from this point out, in order to do a fishtail stitch off of a hook, you always pick up that outer band. Like that, and the other side. And then close it up. So we're going to do that every single time we pull a band through. 
okay? So that's what you should have. So after I have two, after I have four loops on my hook the same color, then I know it's time to change to my next different color. And then accompanying this is going to be your beaded band. So we're just going to pull this one through all four loops. But only going to put that side on in whichever way you feel comfortable you need to put your beaded band on next so if you're okay to leave it and grab your band so this is our beaded band right if you're using smaller beads you'll have a nice center opening you know Mine are so big I don't, you know, it's hard for me to even do it. But what we're going to do is we're going to pl place this inside here, just like that, okay? And then we have to close it up. So don't forget, after you put that beaded band in there, in order to close it up, you need to grab the outer band on this side and then that band we're pulling through. So I'm going to try my best to show you. It's not difficult. <clears throat> so the beaded band gets placed right there under your hook, okay, in between the two beads. And then I want to grab these two bands so I don't lose them. And then I'm going to take my hook and turn it upside down, push it in between the two beads, and then put those two bands back on my hook. You don't have to push it in between the beads, but I wanted to show you at least where it's supposed to be. So these two bands got turned around, so I need to put them back because this these black bands should be in the center. So that's our first one. So it gets, it's not difficult, but just to get started and then plus making sure that I'm getting a good view for you guys. All right, so remember I told you for every beaded band, we add three plain bands. So now I wanna add my two black and then since I'm switching, then I add my maroon. So just slide your band through all four loops on your hook. Okay, and then after we put a band through, we always grab the outer band, pick that one back up, and then close it up. Okay, and then do that again. Mine's the same color. And then pick the outer band up and close it up. So now that I have four loops on my hook that are the same color, I know it's time to add my next color. Same thing through all four loops. And then I just want to pick up this side and then I'm going to place my beaded band. So because I placed two different colors on each beaded band, I want to zigzag my colors. So because this one I put the green first, I want to put my maroon first on this next one. So again, we want to place it under the hook, okay, like that. And then you want to come and grab the other side. So then I'm going to turn my hook facing down so I can add these two loops. Oops. One too many. These two loops onto my hook. Give it a tug. Straighten it out a little bit. Like that. And that's what we have so far. Okay. 
easy peasy, right? All right, so then again, we have to add three single bands. So my black one goes through all four loops, picking up that outer band. Close it up. And then another one. The same color. up only God <laughs> only the outer band I'm telling you you can I'm telling you this is why I don't use any other band for tutorials than LE because it's too much time for me to try to explain all right so my third band pull that one through Okay, and now I'm only going to attach this side and then grab my beaded band. So, because I'm zigzagging, I had green, maroon, now the green goes on next. Push my hook in between and place the right side of those bands on my hook, give it a tug, and voila. Okay, so if you're, you can probably see your fishtail forming, it's the same on both sides. So I'm going to do one more bead. And then I'll leave you to it to finish up the center. All right, so again, three plain bands through. So this is one. And two. Now my third. And beaded band. Okay, and there we have it. That's what you should be looking at, okay? So let's go ahead and we'll go off on our own and finish this until you reach the length of your wrist. So the bracelet won't shrink at all. So you can just kind of keep looming it and then place it and see if it fits and whatnot. So we'll do that. And then we will meet back for our folder. Okay, so here is my center, which I'm like amazed. <laughs> I picked out these colors and it actually worked, but it did take me like three hours to think of it. But anywho, Pretty beautiful. So I put in Persian black and this deep red and like that greenish color. So it all blends in. But the reason I wanted to add 
a few different colors is to make sure I could match something to the border. Anyway, this is the first band that I pull through after I add my bead, okay? So typically, or normally, the next step would be to add the outer bands, but since I'm finished, I'm just going to leave just that one on and then add a clip or a fastener so we can do the border. Okay, I'm going to give you one tip and you have to promise that you're gonna listen because if you remember, I only give tips because it's something that I've done and you don't wanna do it. So, if you see, which I've straightened it out pretty good, you can see some areas like right there, right there, right there, there you can see it, that you're gonna, you can see the beaded band, okay? I mean, it was bad, I fixed it, but it was like that. So, of course, when I looked at MS Looms, hers was perfect, so I figured there was something I might have been doing wrong. This, if you've done my Curb Your Enthusiasm, this is basically the same, except I put a chain down the center. So I'm saying that because this is the same concept. So you gotta listen. You wanna make sure 100% that every band that you have through your beads, you have the exact same length on both sides, okay? You can't have this much hanging off this side and then in centimeter on that side. So go through, make sure that every bead, every beaded band is equal on both sides. Secondly, when we go to stitch this border, do not pull one bit on the band that is through your bead because what's gonna happen is it's gonna stretch it, especially if you're using no opaque, a jelly. So these clear bands, they'll stretch. Okay, so your goal is to make sure that when you're finished, you don't have any gaps in between your bead and your border. I'm telling you, make sure. Okay, so we're gonna come back down towards the cap band. And I've noticed just for playing around with this in particular pattern for this bracelet, that I seem to like two darker colors together, so I'm going to go ahead and use that same green I used in here and the Persian black as well. So it's a super simple border. Okay, so here is the cap band. And one other thing, I'm so sorry, I keep talking. I have to add an extra band down here because my bead is, is, is large. And I keep saying that about my beads, but it's only because of my choice. I chose these beads, okay? So if I'm like, Bleh. So what we need to do is we're not gonna go through the cap band. We're going to go into the two bands that we added to the cap band. And we're gonna go from the inside and push our hook through them to the outside, okay? So again, this is not part of what MS Loom designed. It's just something that I have to do for the first bead so it doesn't crowd up. But I'm going to add a band through these two. Okay? Now that is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to go ahead and add a band through like that. I have to add two. You do not unless you use 10 millimeter beads and you don't want it to crowd up, okay? So go through those two and you add a band. Now you're going to add two of your colored bands and the, whatever band you put on first, whatever color, is going to be your inside color. So my pink in this one, that's the inside and then you have your outside there. So in this case, my black will be on that inside. 
So you're going to chain this one. You're going to chain another one. Before you close up, this is where we're going to do Suzanne's pickup stitch. So we want to kind of stretch it out a little bit. And our goal is to go down through this band, grab, in my case, it's the black bands down in the center, and pull them back up through, and then reattach. We've done it in a lot of designs in the past, but that is the pickup stitch. Once you have that Pick up stitch complete our next step and this is how it will go for the rest of the border. We then put the first loop of that beaded band on our hook and then we start back with that center color. So in my case it's black. So now I want to pull every loop. So my beaded band loop and then the remainder loops on my hook, pull all of them onto this new band, making sure that they're all still in order, and close it up. Okay, so now we're back at the beginning. All right, so we need to chain two. That's one, and then we chain another. But before we close it up, we want to give it a stretch, reach down in between, and grab, in my case, is the two that once more. These two bands, my black bands, and then close it up. Okay, once we have these bands on our hook, we then move forward and pick up that next beaded band loop. Okay, and starting over, placing this band and pulling everything on my hook on top. Like so, and making sure that all bands are in order and close it up. Now, you might have a couple of little that are going to have some gaps, but we're, we can fix them. But you have to wait for me to tell you how to fix it because if you're going to fix it, how you most likely think you should fix it, it might mess up. So let's just wait a couple minutes. So we chain two more. It's one. And now this one, we chain through, we leave open, we go down in that gap, and we grab those two bands in the center down there. Okay, once you have them on your hook, then you can close it up. Four loops on our hook equals time to grab that next beaded band loop. And then we grab our inner color and pull everything on top. Okay. 
Okay. Again, making sure that everything is in the right order. And then we close it up. So that's what you should have. Okay. And like I said, you're going to have a gap here or there. Don't touch it. Not until we get done. Okay. All right. I'm going to do a couple more with you because it's pretty simple. Once you add that beaded band and we start it over with that black, we then add two of the same color. Just bring it through, close it up, and bring it through. Now's the time that we want to go through down here. And just pick up those two center bands, bring them back up through, and then just close it up. Okay, so again, we move forward to the next beaded band, and then start all over with our color. Pulling that one through, let me close it up, grab two of my next color, chain one, and chain two, before we close, go down in the center, I like to turn my hook, grab those two bands down there, Close it up. Four loops equals add beaded band to your hook and repeat. Everything goes on our hook. Like that. So it's not difficult. I'm so sorry from the bottom of my heart if I make this seem any difficult it really isn't I'm just really trying to make sure that um, I'm showing you where you're going to understand okay all right so last one so that's our first one we pulled through now we add two more So that's one and that's two but before we close go down in that center and grab those two bands down there and close it up and then move on to your next beaded band, pull that center color through, like that, close it up, and then we grab another one of that other color and just simply pull it through, make sure your bands are even. And then third, we pull this band through and do your pickup stitch. Like that. I'm loving it. So. I feel confident that you guys can go ahead and work on your own. If you need any assistance whatsoever, you can just rewind and look back at what we did. Okay? All right. Let's go ahead and finish this up to the top, and I'll meet you up there for close-up. Okay. So we got the whole 
one side complete. And I notice I made a little boo-boo on the middle of mine, of course. But anywho, this is how I left it. So the next step would be to be putting a beaded band loop on the end of this. So what I'm going to do, I think, or I'll try it, is I'm just going to pull another band through all four of these loops. And then I'm going to attach it to the left side of the band that I have clipped. So which means I slide this band under and catch those two loops and then put it back on the clip and close it up. Okay, so because this stitch looks the same on the front and the back, you don't have to loom this from the top down. I'm just going to turn it over and I'm going to loom it up just like I did. Now, remember what I said. Do not pull these bands to make sure that these are tight against this border. Just leave them as is. Even if one of them is like really tiny and then you got another one that's really long, doesn't matter. Just leave them the way they are. And let's get this one started and complete. Okay, so again, just because mine will crowd in the beginning, I have to add two bands to start. You should only be adding one band to start, so I'm trying to find my cap band. All right, here's my cap band. So then that means I need to go through the first two bands added to the cap band like that and going back towards out. Okay, so again, you are going to pull a band through just like this, but you're not going to pull two through. You're just going to pull the one unless you're using extremely large beads. So you pull your one band through, and again, don't forget that your middle color, see that? And then you're going to start with your next two in the opposite color. So that's one, and that's two, and then we want to reach down in between, and in my case, mine are the black bands, so I want to recapture those, bring them up close this up. And then again, once we have all of these bands on our hook, our next step is to go inside the beaded band, catch that loop. And then we start it all over again with that center color band, and we pull everything on top. So I'm always very careful when I pull that beaded band over because I don't want to stretch it. Okay, I got everything on top and in the middle, close it up. And then we add the two bands. Close it up. And then once we add this one, we reach down through the center and reclaim. can see those two bands and close it up. Okay, and again, moving forward to our next beaded band. Do not pull on that. 
loop. And then we just pull our next one on so far, so on and so forth. Exactly the same as the side we just completed. Oof. Those pants are twisted. Okay, last one. And then we can move forward ourselves. I should be able to breeze through this side since you already have the concept of what we're doing. Okay, so again, if you see gaps like that, do not adjust them until we're done. Please, I beg you. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll finish up this border. All the way to the top and we'll meet back there for close up. Alrighty, so I am finished with my second side and so again I have it on my hook as if the next step would be to put the loop of the bead on but I'm just going to go ahead and slide another band to catch all four of the loops on my hook. Close it up and then open up my clip, grab the left side of the band in my clip and take the two bands and pull this band underneath, thus ending up with the one band to go back on your clip. So if you, I don't have a C clip handy or I would be using that. I just have this clip, so I'm just going to keep it on right now. And voila, there is our La Piece Legit bracelet. I think it's gorgeous. Um, again, I apologize for oh, my beads and they're big, but I knew the outcome would be somewhat amazing because they are Rondell faucet beads, which means that they are cut to look like glass, thus makes them sparkle. So wonderful design. Uh, they're heavy beads. So I only used 24, I believe I said, instead of 25, and it actually fits. So that's what it looks like on. So it is a cuff style. So if you'd like to have yours sparkly, make sure that you grab a, bill, a bead that, worst comes to worst, look for the word faucet. And that will mean that it's cut. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Big shout out to MS Lim. Make sure that you click on her link below. Thank her for all of her hard work and lovely designs, and as well as hashtagging your rendition to her 
and myself would love to see what you can come up with. So again, thanks for watching, guys. It's very much appreciated. Lots more to come, so stay tuned. Bye-bye.